Hey guys, how you doing? Sorry for the flashy little thing. I just thought that I'd get your first attention, the first 10 seconds, and something weird like that does. And actually, it's going to be rather the point of the video as well that uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, which is called Salsa and Bachata Moves. My name is Alexandros. I'm from the island of Cyprus. I live in the capital and my school is called Expressions because anything artistic in our lives, we do it with expression. And here, basically, I want to do this video so I can guide you through how to use, literally use my channel to become a better dancer or even a professional dancer. Why do I say that? Because we actually have videos from shows, we have videos from social, so you can get an idea of my style. And if you have some things that you might like to take or just say no, I mean, everybody's different, but I believe everybody has something to take from someone. And also musicality, which is something most people don't even know that it exists. And I think that's a very important issue. Podcasts where how to become a better leader, or we have also uh, except the salsa and bachata isolation, shoulders, body waves, reverse waves, side waves, and all these things. But why am I saying these things now? Don't switch off the video and go searching for them because that is exactly my point. Uh, I have the pleasure to say for the past six years now, I've gathered up 650 teaching videos in this channel. That's quite a lot. I also have a guitar channel. You can check it out. I'll put it here in the info cards. I hope I have enough info cards because I'm going to use them a lot. So you can click on any of these things to go. I have that guitar channel since 2007. I'm a self-taught guitarist and musician as well. I like to sing. I like to play other instruments. I like to play the congas. I like to learn a lot of things. And Honestly, 650 videos, I still feel I haven't shared even half of what I want to share. I still have uh, 40 combinations that I haven't uploaded, salsa, bachata, and footwork. And uh, why am I telling you all these things? Because I want to get the elephant out of the room. And FYI, at the end of this video, I have something that I think that you're really going to like. And if you're a beginner, improver, intermediate, advanced, or a dancer that wants to polish its technique, I think you're going to love both of them. But before we go to that one, let's continue here. So you have a YouTube channel of 650 videos. Wow. Okay. Uh, so how many views do you have? Just 50, 100? That really doesn't matter. I'm just really proud that I put my knowledge out there. And my goal is that I still have more than 20 years of life to teach salsa and make combinations every month for three, four, five different groups, different levels, and bachata the same month and salsa, and I just don't have enough time to upload all of them. I wish I did. And the best way that I did for some time in the channel, if you are following, if you're new, that's why I'm telling you the story before I get into how to go easily about in my channel, find exactly what you want for your level, and actually some things that you might not want to find, but I actually need to learn. So the channel, six years ago, I started just by uh, uploading a few uh, videos where my students were filming at the end of the class, and the quality six years ago of the mobiles, of course, was not so good, but even if I put one every week or one every month, it was getting a lot of views and people seemed to like it. Uh, and it was with counting sometimes, sometimes with music. I did the mistake of putting 30 seconds intro. I just wanted to say a lot of things like I'm doing with this video because I want to say a lot of things to help you guys out, navigate and reach your goal faster than just plummet into any YouTube channel, into their videos. And you can use this in other YouTube channels. And I hate to admit that because you might even actually go and spend more time there. But this is how you're going to adjust also to this channel and other channels. So after that, that we started seeing some increase, I started putting more frequently. But I got an old uh, HDR camera, I think it was called. And it had quite good quality when it wasn't Florence like, like now. I'm sure you can tell by now that I'm doing this with a mobile. 
So the mobile, I apologize for the quality, that HDR camera broke down. So for one, two years, we were doing a daytime, holding up uh, the slides so we have some light. And then I edited it with more light, like I'm gonna do with this video, because unfortunately from the mobile, four years old, crap quality. So getting the elephant out of the room, sorry for the bad quality. If you like to support to get a better camera so I can explain each and every one video with detail. I mean, just like being right there with you doing a private uh, in the old fashioned way. Now we return back to the last hundred videos with showing what my students have recorded. One of my students, Kiriakos Kiriakou, uh, he's been for 45 years and he's been filming and saving them in his hard drive uh, on Google Drive. And he just sent me the whole folder and I downloaded a hundred videos and I'm uploading every day, three, four, sometimes 10. Uh, a few days ago, I sat down for eight hours and I uploaded, I think, 21 videos. Just, I just want to get them out there, even if they're not the best quality. But if I had an HD camera, guys, I would also make another video or in the same video with music, showing it with count and then showing the little tricks close up with a good quality. Now, if I do a close up with, uh, myself here, you can see it's going to get pixelized. So that is out of the way. If you like to help donation, the first link in the description. Now going into the channel, over 650 videos. If you click in them in the channel, you just find I had a challenge that I put myself to put 100 salsa moves in a row. Bam, 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 bam. So you'll be scrolling down a lot until you find a bachata for that day because you might want only bachata or looking for that day bachata. Or how about footwork? It's just combinations. And there's no specific order because you can't start, I think, a dance channel with beginners going up, teaching them probably like a, a, a regular downloadable lesson because after that, they'll be teaching only advanced and get stuck up there. You can't go back down. And you'll be sending them to old videos, which the views always drop. The quality is not the best. So I tried to mix max the levels, giving beginners, improvers, intermediate. I know I favor the advanced more, but I do have more advanced students here. I guess I attract them somehow. They know I have complicated things. And I, I really like them both ways. Simple and smart, complicated and fast. Now, the way that you can go, instead of clicking into the videos button, go to my channel and click on the playlist. There are barely 10 playlists there. I think there are eight. And you're gonna find Salsa Moons. There's hundreds of videos there. Pachada Moons. There is a sensual, there is Dominican, there is footwork, there is Moderna with combinations like salsa, there is with music, without music, there is social. So you can explore there. The same thing with salsa. There's another folder that has isolations and body movements. So you can go there and explore your shoulders and your body movement and find the video that you're looking for. Because if you're just scrolling through videos at any channel in that way, you're just going to be going, going, going and get bored. So find specifically what you want through my playlist. I have another playlist, which is copyright free music, bachata and salsa. Some of them were not, so I have to bring it down. But the ones that are, you can download them. I have the way also in the video, I show you how to download them. Uh, another thing is musicality. Musicality is just something beautiful that you need to incorporate. If you think of technique, and learning salsa as a one mountain. There's another invisible one that's called musicality, which is just a straight line, line up. It just, it's not a mountain, it just keeps on going because the options are endless. So every song becomes different. So don't stay only that I am salsa and bachata combinations channel. This can make you a whole rounded channel. <laughs> this can make you a whole rounded dancer and even advanced enough to explore yourself to go and do shows. Uh, I have also that, as I told you, social shows, workshops in other countries. So you'll find those in the folders, sorry, in the playlists, and then you can explore and learn at your own pace and whatever you want to learn. All right. So guys, this is the end of the video. And I did promise you two things that I have that actually are going to help you. First of all, if you're a complete beginner, I have a premium product, which is the second link in the description. And I am going to put also a video, sorry, this way, a video link here. You can click and know more about it. It's about 10 salsa basics 
that we do as couples that all the thousands of salsa moves are actually coming from. And moving on to the second one is improver, intermediate, advanced. The other five important basics that you have to clean up, sharpen, do them fast, do them on time, and then see how many variations I can show you of combinations through them as well. So when you watch some of my dance moves, even when it's time-wise, because some of them, as I told you, I don't have a camera and I can't sit down and analyze in bad quality. It's just going to make it worse for you. And it's going to be so much work just going uh, to the trash. But getting my premium product of the Improver to Intermediate to Advanced, a uh, couple steps which are very clean to see. We've actually had the HDR camera by then, so it's going to be good quality. Both of them are over two hours. You can find the third link in the description. And by learning that, if you're a more advanced dancer, I believe that you will be able to watch not only my combinations and decipher them, but other people's combination as well, because you will be looking at, okay, they're doing this basic move, but with this handhold, seven different handholds, 10 different basics of crossbody lead, times that, and times all the directions you can go forward, back, left, right, down, up, you've got millions of possibilities. That's why I'm saying I'm never going to stop uploading. Even if I don't have a good camera yet for six months, we gather up 150 euros for your donations. Thank you very much. But I really can't wait to get back to teaching full lessons and not just uploading old videos that, yes, of course you will find for you it's a new move. For me, it's a move that I forgot as well, so it's fun to upload. But I really want to get those moves into high quality, high definition and full analyze so you can actually go to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. And a little trick at the end as well, just as a bonus, when you do go to the videos, you can also have a cheat there. On the bottom right from the big YouTube search, you have a small search, oh, that's for my video. So if you put the word Pachanga, which by the way, that's another thing that you can learn in this channel, you'll find the videos only for Pachanga. And I have premium product there as well with 26 videos in there teaching you different steps and funky steps that are not really regular pachanga. First we learn the regular pachanga and then we go really crazy and learn some different style of footwork. All right, I know I'm sounding a little bit like a billboard, but this is a joke that we have to do. And this is 2020 December, which we are still in the COVID. My dance school has been closed down by the government and we have a lockdown until nine. And of course, I know many of you out there are having the same problems and you have to deal with economical problems like I do with your rent, with your electricity. And this dancing thing is my job, but I don't care. I want to just give it for free, give it for free. And whoever wants and gets enough and says, I got enough or even one small thing that you're going to keep for the rest of your life, I'm going to lean back and say, I've done my job. And if that person gives me even one euro saying thank you, that means that's how the world for me in my mind is. And maybe it's not, maybe some of you say, ah, somebody else will give or I have enough problems of my own. And I do understand that, but I will keep on doing videos even with the not the great quality because inspiration always strikes. There's always things to to learn for me to grow. I feel I just scratched the surface and I've been dancing salsa for 22 years. And I believe the next 20, 22 years, I'll still be learning and I'll still be sharing with you guys my knowledge. Thank you for watching and please be careful, stay out there healthy until this nightmare is over and then we can go back to congresses and hopefully I get to see you personally, dance with you and have fun. Muchas gracias guys for watching and ladies of course, uh, my demographic has 75% it's guys. So not so many ladies out there, but I do have lady styling. So if you check in my browse feature as well for ladies, you will find some nice stuff in there as well. Not just by scrolling down hundreds and hundreds of videos. Thank you for watching again and keep on dancing, keep on pushing. We're going to finish this quarantines and when we get out there, you don't want to be left behind and you don't want to feel rusty. That's just going to bring you down and I don't want you quitting to dance. 
you are the real dancer, guys. The ones that are doing it without any fee or any reward. You're just doing it because you love it. And for me, you are the real dancers. See you on the next video.